All right, so here I go. I just took one of my older channels and switched it to a review channel because I love doing off-the-cuff reviews. And I'll always do off-the-cuff. I'm not going to sit down and edit something and be all nice and pretty. I just want to do it right through my phone and upload it because that's how I like doing my videos. So this is my very first review. And I haven't really used this yet, so... I guess I'll just do it in parts because I like doing my reviews in parts as well. So as you can see, yesterday I bought the Polaroid One Step Two. It's you know a take on the classic. And the thing is, I actually own the original classic Polaroid over here. But I'm just gonna put it next to it for a sec. I'm gonna do a comparison video after of the both. But this here is actually my grandmother's that she uh, would take out all the time at Christmas and stuff. And when it was around for like mom or dad saying, hey, do you want this or not? I was like, yeah, it doesn't work. I haven't tried to go get it to work yet, but I just wanted to have it. But you can see the similarities. But I'm going to do another video of that separately. So I'm not going to unbox either because unboxing with one hand or setting up my phone is hard annoying. So I'm just going to do it like this. So yeah. Uh, you know what? I actually haven't fully charged this yet even. So I don't even know if I can turn it on yet. Yeah, I haven't even really like looked around much. This is literally just... I haven't taken out any of this stuff. But you know, it comes with another USB cord. So now I have 101 of these things. Because... These come with everything now, but you never could not need enough. So, and it's got a little strap that you would attach. I haven't taken that out either, but there's a hook somewhere in the back. I guess you need to plug that into. I don't even see where it is, but I actually have the carrying case for this old old camera too. I have the old carrying case for it, so it's actually this little like sling bag thingy, which is cool. So I'm gonna just use that. Uh, I don't know. It's got the little screw in the bottom there for if you wanted to mount it. It's really light. And uh, loading up the film. I don't know. I haven't even really like messed around with this yet. I bought this yesterday before work and then I got home and I fell asleep. So I had barely had a chance to even look at it myself. Here's the manual. It's, there's not very much to it because it's like literally like one section for English and then very small there isn't a whole lot to know I mean it's this very basic user friendly so you can't really you can't really mess it up it has its own flash which is good as you know the old model over here comes with these flash bulbs that who even knows if you could buy anymore but I'm going to take this to a camera store one day and be like yo can we fix this is it salvageable? But it's really light too. I mean, that's the thing that I'm getting me. I'm surprised. I mean, it's super light. I'm like, you know. And I don't know. I mean, difference wise, okay, I gotta stop looking at the old one. I wanna do a whole other comparison video first. But off, on. Okay, so that's how you turn it on, just right there. And there's no film in it yet, so if I tried to do something, I don't know, and it's flashing green, I don't know if that means something. But there's a little USB plug in the back for charging it. Supposedly, I mean, it didn't come out, it doesn't come out of the box charged, which is something that always drives me nuts, because, you know, you want to use something right away. But I don't want to sit around and wait for hours, because you couldn't charge your own stupid thing. So yeah, the user manual shows you all the different parts that you need to know. Self-timer button is right there. That's the self-timer button, that little one. The flash. The red button is a shutter button, so that's how you take the pictures. Infrared LED, I don't know what sure that's for. Lens. No, the lens doesn't turn. I was wondering maybe you could focus on that, so... I guess that means lens just 
you basically just have to stand at a certain point. You don't. I'm not sure. I haven't taken any pictures yet, like because of the film issue, which I'm gonna get to in a minute. Because this guy, I got a huge, huge, huge beef with this thing. A huge beef that I'm gonna bring up in a minute. But it's a big one that I was blown away in the store when I was like, "Are you serious?" Nah, uh, the manual is so short. Film counter LEDs. What does that mean? I don't know. This thing here says film counter LEDs. I'm not sure what that even means. Maybe it's written in here. I don't know. But I mean, this is basically... That's the whole manual. Like, there's barely anything there. And then it switches to the next language. So that there is the English part of the manual. And everything else is every other language. So it's very short and sweet. And it comes with a useless sticker that I'll never do anything with. But my number one beef... Number one beef. It doesn't come with any film at all. Which is fucking ridiculous. Seriously. And you want to know how much... These things cost, I had to buy these separately. These things are 20 more dollars for eight fucking photos. Unbelievable. I must have really wanted this because, fuck. See, for me to use this thing now, like as far as I know, you probably can't get more than eight at once because it has to fit inside this little tiny slot down here. You know? Which I can't even remember how to get open. Because I'm trying to do everything with one hand. And I thought this is how you got it open. Oh, yeah, there it is, see? You slide it across and push it down. So yeah. The film slides in there, and you know, because of the size, you can only fit one certain size of the thing, which means you take eight photos and then you gotta refill it. And these things are 20 something bucks. That's nuts. I'm gonna have to find some place online somewhere where I can get these for cheap. Even eBay, I haven't looked yet, but I really can't believe that it doesn't come with at least one of these. This thing was 140 on sale, regular 160 or so. I just can't believe it doesn't come with any film at all. That's just such a shitty thing to do. And they could have fit it. They could have fit one of these in the box. Like, look, see. One of these could have fit if they made the box just a little wider or put it on the bottom. I was like, I actually opened it in store as soon as I picked it up, and the cashier was right there, and we're both like, "Does this come with film? It's got to come with film." And I'm like, "She's like, it should." And I'm like, "It doesn't say on the box." And I'm like, "Man, you kidding me? Like 140 bucks." A regular 160 and it comes with no film so as soon as I bought it I opened it right away just to like check and I was just like dumbfounded like the, you have to buy these fucking things and the black and white is slightly cheaper but I mean I don't really want to keep buying black and white it looks nice sure whatever but just because but not for vintage cameras so yeah that's a huge gripe like just Really, really, really irritating. Just yeah, right out the box, right out, right out of the gate, you gotta spend an extra twenty-two and or more dollars. Like this is, there's even a a different version of this, a slightly higher quality version, I guess. That's like twenty-four to twenty-five dollars, maybe. It's just really nuts. I don't know. I will not be able to get past that. Every single person I'm gonna meet be like, "I love your camera." I'm like, "Yeah, but it doesn't come with film in the box." But hey, you know what? I love the vintage look. It's cool. Got the little stripe that Instagram stole. That they got rid of eventually. At least the old Instagram style. So I'm going to do another review. Because this is basically my 
right away out of the box review, and then I'm going to do a comparison, a visual comparison next to the actual vintage one that I own, and take some shots, so, you know, I like doing my reviews and series, so this is the first part of it. Um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some follow-ups. Yeah, peace out.